Nebraska to kick it off. Brendan Frankie will put it in play and we're underway in New Jersey. Crookshank lets it land in the end zone, a touchback, and the Scarlet Knights begin their opening drive of the night at the 25-yard line. Who will be the quarterback? It looks like it's going to be Noah Vedro. Yeah, absolutely. He started a week ago and didn't contribute to the game as much as you might have thought with him coming in and being a starter. They said that week by week he's gotten healthier and healthier, and they think that he's as healthy as he's been, and he may have a, a much bigger role today. 22nd career start for Rutgers. We mentioned in the open that he did transfer from Nebraska. He's a Nebraska kid. We'll get into that as the night goes on. You see his numbers here. The give to start things off. Kyle Manungai for a couple of yards over the right side. As we look at the starters for the Scarlet Knights. Keep an eye on Aaron Crookshank, wide receiver, number one, big playmaker. They're going deep, and it's going to be caught. That's Shameen Jones at the 40-yard line. Really good start to the game for Rutgers. First career start last week in that win over Indiana for Nebraska. Sam Brown, the running back. Room over the right side, seven yards on first down. Marquise Buford pushed him out of bounds as we look at the starters on the defensive side for the Cornhuskers. Caleb Tanner, number two at linebacker, playing in his 50th game at Nebraska tonight. And keep an eye on Isaac Gifford, number 23, the nickelback, really a big playmaker defensively for Nebraska. They're running on second and four. First down for Brown as he goes out of bounds inside the 30. Did not see a flag. Yeah, there's a flag. This is a free play for Vedral. He's just going to heave one downfield and throw it away. You don't want to have those things. Those are the controllables, things you can't control. And that's what Coach Joseph wants them to avoid. Well, that's what they had a problem with last week. Even though they won at home against Indiana, they were hit with 12 penalties, and it hurt them. Brown is back in with Vedral on second down and three. Play clock inside of 10. Langen 21 in motion and Rutgers going to have to call a timeout. He's got things going in the right direction here so far in 2022. Second down and three. Vedral keeps. He'll get the first down running near side and take it inside the 10 at the pylon. Touchdown. Noah Vedral. He hits the pylon and it's good for six and now a penalty on the extra point try. Offside. Defense number 99 made contact. Mm. We'll penalize half the distance. This is the extra point try. Right down the boulevard. Due to time constraints, we now move ahead in the action. Longer routes, those deep outside throws. So now we're going to have to see if that hand holds up and he can drive the ball into the chest of his receivers on curl routes, in routes, and things of that sort. Salam gets the carry on first down. Omar Brown comes up to make the stop for Nebraska. Caleb Tanner was there as well. Said it earlier, but Tanner playing is playing in his 50th game tonight for Nebraska. And if he stays healthy, he could become the all-time leader when it comes to games played in a Cornhusker uniform. Federal throwing on second down. This is Jones breaking free. First down across midfield, and there he goes. Shameen Jones down to the 22-yard line. Nice pitch and catch there. He said, let me remind you. Now they hammer it home with Sam Brown. Left side inside the five-yard line, and he hit the pylon. I think he was short of the goal line, and we have a flag anyway, and this one might be coming back. Yeah, that's going to be a holding. Holding. Offense number 10. 10-yard 10 penalty. Repeat first down. Matt Alimo had his hands wrapped all around and didn't let go. I think that he would have been fine if he just let him go. But uh, it's always that type of play that, that causes a hold. Uh, 
here he is outside. He's got c control of him, but he doesn't let him go. You can see the defender kind of trying to fight off and get away right there at the left of your screen. But that's what kind of sprung it, right? And so when you spring a run, right, at the point of attack with a hold, they're definitely going to call it, and the back judge got him for it. So instead of first and goal at the one, or maybe inside the one, it's first and 20. Brown goes in motion. Veteral to toss it. Into traffic and incomplete. Reimer, great defense. Henrich nearly picked it off. Yeah, Nebraska went to the man defense. They played primarily one high man defense against Indiana, and it was a lot of because they just wanted to be able to get lined up because Indiana played so fast a week ago. There they go man to man. They motion the running back out. Linebacker goes with them, so it tells Federal that it is man to man. Just a bad decision in a hitch route versus a squat linebacker. Veteran quarterback draw. He's got room right down the middle. And a really nice play for Luke Reimer to stop him as he headed toward the 20 yard line. You're going to get the center leading up here. And this is the one guy that has to try to stop the play, but he's held by the receivers on the outside. And so now it's wide open for number 57, Ireland Brown, to lead up on the linebacker and create some space. For the quarterback. I'm not so sure he doesn't run for a first down there if Reimer doesn't do an excellent job of getting off his block Absolutely. and making a stop in the open field. He's a tough cookie at that linebacker position. Third and ten. Vedral on the run. Just throws it away. Getting pressured by Stefan Wynn Jr. The transfer from Alabama and a field goal situation here for the Scarlet Knights. They tried to get him with a little slant and out, right? A slant route and then turn and race out for the uh, wide receiver. Didn't bite. Great job. And it was the freshman, right? They attacked the freshman who's back in the game, Malcolm Hartzog. He got a chance to watch for a bit. He's back in, and he read it perfectly and forced a field goal. McAtomney, one for one. He hit from 25. This one from 40, and he buries it. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. For the playbook on home loans, Rocket can. You know, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. Maybe you're not, but somebody, somebody thinks we're hot. Just Thanks, so Mike. my wife does. That's all I need. <laughs> Doesn't matter what Mike thinks at this point. <laughs> A whistle stopping play before this drive begins for Nebraska. Not sure what's happening. The ball was fair caught behind the 25 yard line. By rule, the ball is placed at the 25, first and 10. This is a big drive, right? Shallow cross is what they like here. There it goes, shallow cross right there in front of him. I'm getting pressure, but he finds his man, Marcus Washington, who's out across the 35 near the 40 yard line. There's another one. Yeah, big pressure. Trey Palmer, first catch of the night for him. Into plus territory down to the 40 of Rutgers. That's back-to-back -back shallow cross plays. Touchdown. They're opening drive against uh, Northwestern to begin the season in Ireland. Thompson setting up the screen. He's got it to Grant. Great recovery on defense for Rutgers. Oh, great Thompson job. Thompson swings it to Grant, who breaks a tackle and has a first down close to the 25-yard line. Could be a matchup here. It's Oliver Martin had a touchdown last week against Indiana. Thompson looking that way, intercepted. There is a flag. Max Melton picked it off. It would be the second interception of the night for the Rutgers defense, but we'll wait and see what the Pass flag interference. is. Offense number 83. Between Casey Thompson and Oliver Martin, the split was cut down so he can run a double move, and it looks like Casey Thompson threw a go route as we watch another go route throw by Rutgers. What a throw. Evan Simon in at quarterback, and he dials up a deep shot 
Simon threw for over 300 yards in a loss a couple of weeks ago against Iowa here at SHI Stadium. Threw it 49 times that night. Two plays, two passes this evening. Nebraska's DBs are very, very soft. I, I, you can get quicks or hitch routes quick out right now. Simon hit. They stay after him. He gets away and might pick up a yard. Saw Langen come near side, number 21. He's been quiet tonight for Rutgers. Simon throwing again, nearly intercepted, but it's Crookshank. Nope. Or did, did they rule it complete? No, catch. he caught it. That's First catch. down, Rutgers. What a catch. Evan Simon has got him on the move. They run it here. If you don't see Evan Simon pull it at one point and try to get on the edge. Manungai again. Cutting back and near the first down. The spot should give it to him, but there was a flag on the play. Holding. Holding. Offense number 57. Ten yard penalty. Repeat second down. The center, Brown, does a great job of getting outside and, and, and making a block. He had great leverage at the beginning, but he kind of finishes him after the play. On the right side of your screen, you can see he's driving him, driving him, driving him, and then he's going to go after the running back cuts underneath. He's going to continue to finish him. I don't love that call. I don't love that call as a, as a hold. I think that's a, a, a much stronger man kind of dominating another guy. The, the cutback really puts you in a tough spot. Yeah, because you're running as fast as you can lineman, to keep right? this guy out, right? And, and, and I think it fools the official, too, because yeah. it does look like a hold. Second down along, they'll throw it. And once again, it's complete. And this time, the man that makes the reception is Sean Ryan. But another flag on the play. I don't know what this could be. They threw it in the area of pass interference. That's just a great back shoulder. Pass interference. Offense number five. Fifteen yard penalty. Repeat second down. That's the that's the third offensive pass interference we've yeah. seen tonight. Two against Nebraska and now Rutgers has been hit. I think the other ones were. I don't think this was. Let's take a look at it. Right. No, nobody's touching. Nobody's touching. You got hands by the DB on the shoulder pad. That is not. A, that's a bad call. That is a bad call. And they just stole a big play from Rutgers there. You're talking about erasing a 20 yard play and now going from first and 10 to second and 30. This pushes Rutgers back inside the 30 yard line at the 29. Simon loading up again. Crookshank able to pull it in near midfield. Keep in mind, too, Nebraska has all three of their timeouts if they can get it back here. Vedral under pressure, going to be sacked. Korzak boots it away. Yeah, he's, he's still not happy. Yeah, Dean, that's two calls on that drive, though, especially the holding as well as you get an incomplete pass from Casey Thompson here. His father played professional baseball. We'll see what he can do here. Second down and 10. Batted down. You're a quick screen out there or draw. The box is light. I will go draw with the quarterback. And that's what they do. Nothing doing for Purdy, who's brought to the ground by Wesley Bailey. Crookshank going to try and bring this one back. Nope, fair catch at midfield. Only down 13. No timeouts for the Scarlet Knights. 103 to play. It's again Evan Simon at quarterback. Dangerous pass. Crookshank has got it. Pedro was in the game, and now they've kind of tightened down to take away the quick throws and see if their front seven can get pressure. Simon again got a man. It, it creates kind of scramble drill, and he gets it in the hole. Very nice job. Clock stopped to move the change. Rolling again. You'd love six here, but at the very least, you want a field goal, and that might not happen. The sack, courtesy of Garrett Nelson. He had a pair last week, and with no timeouts, this may end the half for Rutgers. Third and long. Everybody hustles back. They're going to get a playoff here. Most likely will be some kind of shots in the end zone. It is. Incomplete, but nearly pulled in. Great effort by Isaiah Washington. Wow, that was almost.
talented receiver, the transfer from LSU, and your running back who started at Florida State. They just haven't been able to be a get going, but they get the ball here. Let's see if they can find a way to generate offense and use their weapons. Here's Tommy Hill on the return, and he takes it out to the 30 yard line. Number's not good, but you're only down 13 nothing and an opportunity to get right back in it. Here's Thompson loading up and going deep, and nobody home. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense number 71. They let their opponents beat themselves. They don't do it on the Scarlet Knight side of things normally. Thompson again. His outlet is Grant, and he's got room already into plus territory. Thompson, the quarterback for Nebraska, knocked out in the first half. He is back and throwing on first and 10. And this one going to be dropped on the roster as a running back. Here's Thompson on first down, rolling right, throws it into traffic. Second and 10 from the 34. They dump it once again to Grant. Scarlet Knights have been great defensively tonight on third down. Pressure coming. Thompson holds it, dumps it to Grant again. And he's bottled up, going to be about a yard shy of the first down. The spot will actually make it fourth down and two. Play clock under 10. Big play early second half. Nebraska runs it. Grant first down and 10. And the Huskers continue to roll on their opening drive. What a catch, what a catch. from the 19. And they go back to Grant. Grant 31 yards defense. tonight, averaging 120 per game on the season. Thompson. The catch is made inside the 20. It's Trey Palmer first and goal. Did you see how antsy he was on the edge? Yeah. He came out and could not wait to get downfield yeah. and yeah, run that route. He got to his motion position maybe a little too soon, and he was just sitting there waiting because he has to stay in motion, and then he burst forward on that slant route, and, and that's what they love to do. Whipple wants to find a way to get him in different spots so they don't know where he's coming from, and it pays dividends there. Great drive for the Cornhuskers. And there's Volkolek. Touchdown, Nebraska. Travis Volkolek. Free throw right over the defense. Timmy Bleakroad has not missed an extra point. Been able to get going. The quarterback, the wide receiver, and the running back all found a way to add to that drive for a touchdown. Guard, in that case, the linebacker doesn't know what to do. Easy touchdown. You know, every play that drive had been Grant or Palmer, and the touchdown goes to Volkola. And a nice run to begin this drive for Rutgers. It's Salam who gets the carry. Reimer on the tackle, and they go Wildcat for their first drive of the second half. Yeah, it's just an inside zone there, but it, the running back finds a way to get out of there. Just shifty, shifty, gets out of there and puts his head down, and now he can get on the edge. Nice job by the referee there, the umpire, to get out of the way. How about those fast feet? We wondered who the quarterback would be. Was it going to be Vedra? Was it going to be Simon? Langan comes out running the show offensively. The old quarterback now tied in, working Wildcat. They call him Johnny Offense because he does everything for this offense. He plays running back, he plays Wildcat quarterback, and he's also a tight end. Rutgers trying to answer the scoring drive from Nebraska. First down carry and plenty of yardage there for Langan as he gets about six, second down and four. The one thing we can't forget is with Langan at quarterback, you cannot just think the pass is not an option, right? And both these quarterbacks have, have performed uh, in, the, in this game. But with, Veg with Johnny Langan at quarterback, remember when we talked to Coach Gleason, he said, hey, he, when I first got here, he was only in the quarterback room with me. So he knows the offense just as good as everybody else. So it's not out of the question to see him throw it. Langan calls his own number again, but not much happening here. Thanks to Garrett Nelson. Nelson's such a, a great player. Captain for Nebraska, 25 straight starts, 26 tonight. His dad was a two-time All-American wrestler for the Cornhuskers. And now as we go to third down, it looks like it's going to be Noah Vedrill coming in at quarterback, his first snap of the second half. Play clock under 10.
Vedral to pass, and it's going to be incomplete. He was trying to find Sean Ryan, threw it outside. Vedral comes up a little gimpy, and after scoring on their opening drive of the second half, Nebraska is going to get it back. Yeah, he, 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 the ball's out, and it's and it just offensive lineman, defensive lineman fighting for their lives, and then they land on his foot there. And, and to, at home, that may not look like a lot, but that's a big man. That's a big man in Dunlap, six foot five, 335 pounds falling on the quarterback's foot. Here's Korzak with a punt. Fair catch called for and made. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. For the playbook on home loans, Rocket can. Had a cup of coffee with the professional stealer. Yeah, right? how about that? Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty good. Pretty good drink. How did how did the tight end dump work there? Ah, uh, no tight end dumps. <laughs> <for that. laughs> a little reverse, and they look like they want to throw it. Instead, they'll keep it on the ground. That's Alante Brown who's tripped up. Really nice job by Christian Izian who comes up and makes the tackle. Yeah, you see there. They, they think that they have a little momentum and they're going to go with the double reverse. The, the double verse pass not there great job and remember when in college football you can't just throw the ball away as the as the the second person or third person to touch the ball if you're a receiver that touches the ball second you cannot just throw the ball away you have to either take the sack or find a way to run the quarterback is the only one in college football that has the luxury to throw the ball away outside the pocket you showing off for for Dean there spreading the knowledge I mean, on the rule book we can bring Dean in you know I'm not, he'll just tell you you know. Short gain for Grant on second down, so it'll be third and long. Deion Jennings there to no, make the tackle for Rutgers. You no, know, for so many years with those trick plays, people say, "Hey, just throw the ball away." And even coaches coached it in college. But the rule is, if you're the second person to touch the ball in college football, now in the NFL, if you have a reverse, you can throw the ball away outside the pocket. Third and nine. What a catch. Palmer climbs the ladder, but I believe he's going to be short by about a yard and a half, undercut by Shaquan Loyal. I don't think this is a very good spot, but this is a nice catch. You can see he's past the first down marker, and his catching, he catches it there, and then he's drugged back through the air. I don't know. It looks like he, it looks like it's well over the first down marker and then he's drugged back through the air uh, for progress you would think gives him the first down there I wouldn't know I wouldn't say well over but it it was enough. close it looks like enough at least, at least at least enough to look at it before they have to punt the ball away here so Brian Bushini is in and after giving the ball away Rutgers defense able to hold Nebraska to a three and out here's Crookshank he is dynamic in the return game Dancing free here. Rutgers did well in the first half as established field position. Mm -hmm. and, and here they are again starting this drive out close to the 40. Federal back in at quarterback completes the pass. That's Chris Long. They want him to be the guy. There's yeah. no question at quarterback. And a of big course. step tonight. Ah, see, there it goes. That's the throw that he can make. I'm not even going to question if he's capable of making that throw. That's a throw he can make. But after making that long throw to the to the flat to the field, the throw before, how much strength does he still have in the hand to do the same thing on back to back plays? I'm not going to blame that throw on him. I know he's capable of making that throw. That's that's the hand that he's fighting through for his team and he can't quite get the grip that he wants every single time he throws. This is Brown and he'll get the first down at midfield. Going back, Noah Vedral such a, a great story. Six-year senior from Nebraska, grew up near Lincoln. Mm -hmm. His dad and uncles played at Nebraska. He starts his college career at UCF, transfers back home, gets his degree from Nebraska, transfers to Rutgers, and he has been a mainstay the last couple of years. Injured this year, and he goes to the sideline on first down. Evan Simon is back in, seeing his first action of the second half. Brown patiently running near side and he'll get a first down inside the 40 and close to the 35 yard line. I mean that is a nice run by the true freshman. And Nebraska almost plays this perfectly but Brown shows so much patience with great ball security that he allows it to develop and then finds a way to sneak outside because the edge was set by Nebraska. He comes underneath and then finds a way down the field. Very nice job by him. They keep it on the ground. 
Short gain for Brown here. You know, the one thing about Rutgers, if you look at them statistically this year, not great at producing points in the second half. This drive has been reassuring as Federal re enters. And it's Simon going to the sideline. Salam hitting the backfield. Nick Henrich with a huge play defensively for Nebraska. And here's what it's been like this season at the quarterback position for Rutgers. Yeah, I think when we said carousel at the top of this game, it might have been an understatement. All right, that's a lot of guys taking the snap from the center. Uh, Simon enters back into the game for his second stint of action here in the second half. Passing situation on third and eight. And it's going to be intercepted. He threw it right into traffic. Brandon Moore picks it off for Nebraska. And they have stepped up really since the opening drive and keeping the Cornhuskers in this thing. Thompson under pressure throwing deep. Second and ten. They run the ball with Yant this time. Third and seven. We'll go under three minutes to play third quarter. Thompson caught Washington first down. We said it Casey Thompson loves shallow cross and this time they add a mesh uh, uh, version of shallow cross where they have two guys crossing over the middle and it kind of creates a pick and allows for the Washington to come open. Very nice job of Casey Thompson stepping up in the pocket, getting in the fight, and then delivering a catchable ball to go pick up that first down. It, you know, you and I talked about this. Last week he held on to it a little bit, yeah. had a couple of intentional grounding calls, took a couple of sacks. Tonight, as you said, he's eluded the rush and made plays. And a nice pitch and catch here. Chancellor Brewington, the tight end, is inside the 40-yard line. Uh, we haven't seen much from Chancellor Brooks, but he's got a little burst. He does. Right? He catches that screen and, and defeats the defender. Nice job of Casey Thompson buying time, getting to the outlet, and he, he bursts here. That is nicely done by the tight end. And they, they've got a nice tight end room in yeah, Nebraska. They might want to use those guys a little more. Thompson over the middle, incomplete. Trying to go right back to him. But Brewington can't hang on here. Yeah, he, he got into the hole of defense and he started to get a little ants. He started to move left to right, left to right. And when you do that, the quarterback doesn't know where you're going to be, right? He throws it where he was. But if he would have just stayed still, that would have been a perfect pass right down the middle of his body. And he would have been able to catch that ball and get vertical. He was excited about that last play that he had. He showed that good burst. Empty set for Thompson. And back to the tight end. This time it's the guy that picked up the touchdown moments ago, Travis Vokalek. I said they should use the tight ends more, and I guess they heard me. That's three targets in a row to tight end football players. Brings up a third and short here. And I wouldn't be surprised if they don't go back to that shallow cross and, and, and find a way to loosen up some guys. And, and if the, the, the Rutgers defense jumps these shallow crosses. They always have a guy sitting in the middle, usually a tight end, that, that's posted up right over the ball for the quarterback. Third and three. They run it, and they're short. I mean, maybe that's a play where they're going to go for it. I know what you're doing if you're Mark Whipple. Yeah, you're, you're saying let, let's go for yeah, it. Right? He's right next to the head coach for a reason because he's like, hey, if we don't get it here, we're going to go for it. And I got a play that's going to get it. Fourth and one. Clock rolling inside of a minute to go third quarter. Nebraska fell behind 13 nothing at halftime scored on their opening drive of the second half. Got yeah, empty here. They have the running back lined out wide to get a beat on what the coverage is. Looks like it's going to be a zone coverage. Thompson hit as he throws incomplete and the Scarlet Knights take over leading by six 31 seconds to play third quarter. 
Langen back in, running the Wildcat. Caleb Tanner gets him defensively. And that should be the final play of this third period. They trail it 13 7. And it's a second and 11 for Rutgers. And Simon in it, quarterback incomplete, and a penalty flag. It looks like they got the freshman Malcolm Hartzog to Hartzog so for suggesting. Yeah, get off that, of him. That, that He's he been outstanding since guilty. giving up those uh, early catches. Third down, 11, and it's complete out to the 45 yard line. That's a first down. Johnny. Johnny offense with the seam and this ball is out so early wait till you see how he reacts and catches the ball he doesn't even see it coming because it's halfway there and it just lands right in his lap it's like that's what we call as a quarterback a long handoff he didn't even know the ball was coming and he caught it still right in his lap perfect throw by Simon the hand of Brown could he be the closer he's got six on first down this young freshman is slowly but surely continue to impress the coaching staff every single week and and like you said can he be the closer who they lean on to finish this game he had 79 yards on the road last week and a loss to Ohio State true freshman looks like an upperclassman big strong and churns forward here. He gets about three more. It'll be third down and one. You know what I like about him? He's 6'1", 220 pounds, like you said, big and strong. But his ball security is, is in, in, impeccable. And, you know, I, don't, I hope it's not the announcer's curse where he goes out and pops the ball out. But the way he's holding the ball, it's almost like a Tiki Barber. Remember Tiki Barber had the fumbling issues, and he started to put it on his front chest plate. And, and this is what you see from this young runner. And it doesn't look like he's going to give this ball away at all. If it's not broke, don't fix it and I, this is going to be close the spot will be everything he needed to get just inside the 45 and I think this is going to be you know fourth and maybe about a half yard I don't think he got there. Remember the, the, the yellow line is unofficial. He's still fighting he's not down yet. They're going fourth and inches and a flag before they get the playoff they were going sneak with Simon. Uh, how big would this penalty be? Right guard against Rutgers. and center. Ball start. Offense number 51. Five yard penalty. Remains fourth down. So they're going to call it on Curt Curtis Dunlap. But if we take another look, Ireland Brown kind of flinched the center first. See, 57 starts to lean, I think, and then it makes 51 move. That's tough. Yeah, I was just going to say, those guys up front, three transfers uh, among the group have been excellent. All night long, but you go from fourth and inches to fourth and five plus, and now a punting situation once again for Adam Korzak. How about yet another stop from that Nebraska defense? And a touchback. The streak is over. Grant trying to make something. 79 just, just hasn't really got into a groove. But I think he's playing a lot better, and you can see it right here on this play. Avoids the rush. This is the end of the game. You have to find a way to get your team positioned to score points. He's a threat. He's got five rushing touchdowns this year. Each team has seven penalties tonight. First and 20 now for Nebraska. Second and 16. Closing on 10 minutes to play fourth quarter. Thompson under pressure and this time he'll go down. Third and 22. This is a big time screen draw down. Oliver Martin catches and he won't get the first down but he creates a little space. He's got that left ankle taped up pretty good. Yeah, You know I, I said it uh, earlier in the in the break I said man why is the punter static. <laughs> He's got a little swag out there but no he, he yeah, fell in two. Gets this one away cleanly oh. and it's not a, a long pump by any means I'm trying to set a tone on both offense and defense and they've done a good job of that. I'm going to need to make another stop here trailing at 13 7 is Nebraska. Evan Simon is the man in the fourth quarter at quarterback for Rutgers. And an incompletion here. Man, second and 17. If you're Rutgers, you want to be real careful here, right? Because your defense has been doing a pretty good job as well. Uh -oh. And just as we say it, intercepted. Turnover. 
Evan Simon throws the pick. It's Miles Farmer with a takeaway for Nebraska. And a and real nice job by Farmer coming to come over, over, doing a good yeah. job, yeah. And field position here inside the 30 for Thompson. And he's going right to the end zone. And it's going to be caught. Touchdown, Trey Palmer. Offensive coordinator Mark Whipple said we want to get Palmer over the top. They hit him for 71 yards last week against Indiana. And the touchdown here that ties it and Nebraska now leads as Bleak Road knocks it through. Down and, and keeping them from being explosive then here in the second half they all three of them have done a great job of making plays. Rutgers with a nice return. You have to trust that he can make some of those throws and lean on your run game which it seems like they're going to go with the, the young guy. Yeah Salam. Brown. Oh Salam gets the call here. You're yeah. right Brown had been in Salam. Yeah starts two off young guys. Drive. Yep. Sophomore and a freshman. Henrich makes the stop for Nebraska. But in such a game of momentum right you have to feel like the momentum is on the Nebraska sideline now it felt like it was always with Rutgers and now some of that momentum has kind of changed its address and, and it resides on Nebraska sideline. Still plenty of time 820 to go and you're only trailing by one pass to the outside this time it is Brown and he's got the first down the freshman close to midfield. I love it by coach Son, uh, office coordinator coach Sean Gleason get a throw that you know he can make. You can see this is not a tight spiral or pre throw by any stretch of the imagination but it gets out there and it, you're allowing your freshman running back to make a play who's proven he's going to have good ball security and move the ball down the field. This time he runs it and nowhere to go gain of a half yard. I got to give a lot of kudos to coach Bush. I mean he, he was great to talk to but in this second half he's made adjustments and he has his defense planning inspired. Pressure. Men were going to go down. Colton Feast was there. Garrett Nelson corralled him. The offensive line just doesn't know what to do. We're going to go twist, twist, twist here. And all the guys go different ways, and, and they just don't shake it out well. And, and Vedro does all he can to try to get free, and, and does, but credit to him. He does a great job protecting the ball, but that's a great defensive call by Coach Bush. Sets up third and 16. Quick throw for Federal. Caught, but well short of the first down. That's Crookshank at midfield. Marquise Buford. And it was one on one there, and Rutgers will have to punt. So if you're Nebraska, for me, I would start my four minute offense right now. I would lean on my big back. Jaquez Yant or Anthony Grant both those guys capable of salting this game away and try to run as much time off this clock in the running game as they can. Here's a great weapon for Zach. You're a Nebraska fan. You've been here so many times. Yes. You've lost so many yes. close games. Big opportunity to close it out on the road. And there's the man you talked about. Anthony Grant. The junior college player of the year last year at New Mexico Military Institute began his career at Florida State transferred with the junior college route now at Nebraska and he has been outstanding. Elijah Juan Mack number 20 on the back end has been thrust into duty because of Desmond Ibinosin's injury. He came down extremely fast so I, I wouldn't be afraid. I wouldn't be surprised to see play action at some point if he continues to fly down like that. Deion Jennings here to make the tackle on second down. It sets up third and seven as we roll toward five minutes to play. This quick three and out if Rutgers can get Nebraska off the field this is exactly what they wanted to try to get this ball back and, and find a way to finish and get back in this game. You see the third down numbers not good for either team tonight. And a huge one here for both sides. Both teams with a full complement of timeouts. 
Pressure on Thompson. He throws, caught, first down. That's the tight end, Volkolek. How big has he been tonight? And he's down, but maybe going to be able to walk it off. No, man, he is banged up. Yeah, it looks like he's going to try to draw the field and walk it off. But he just, just a, just a slant route right here. Press the toes and get inside. Very nice job of avoiding the linebacker. And it's a nice big target for Casey Thompson to hit. Just picked up a huge third down. Volkolek, by the way, went to the sideline, went to the tent. We'll continue to monitor him as the clock rolls at four and a half minutes to play. This is Grant nearly dropped in the backfield. Well, and their strength tonight has been through the air. Only 65 rushing yards tonight for Nebraska. Second and nine, they get nothing. It's actually second and ten, so it'll be third and long. They just do not finish games, especially in the one possession variety, and, and this is an opportunity to do that here. And another timeout is called here. Third and 11. Yeah, they're going to get him. After the play was over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense number five, 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Third and 11. You're going to get four or five yards and punt it away. I mean, it's that extra twist, right? You got him out of bounds. I mean, he can't see the his foot was a bit out of bounds, but it's that extra aggressive slam that you just don't need. You're about to get the ball back, and you got him out of bounds. You called that timeout. You got him out of bounds. The clock is stopped, and you and you give that extra twist, and now there is the clock is rolling, and. Nebraska has the ball with a chance to try to really salt this game away with all the timeouts being used. And that was Oliver Martin that made the catch. And it looks like Nebraska going to go heavy here with a first and 10 at the 41 yard line. And they run the play clock all the way down. And now the Cornhuskers. Remember, this is what I said they would do before they punt, right? Run it all the way down and use one of their timeouts. You're going to see the, the, the Rutgers defense raking at the ball, trying to get it out. They barely got the playoff. This is Grant running outside. Very wisely stays inbounds. That's a very good job by him because I'm just telling you, I was about to be very upset. A lot of times that, that doesn't happen. you got to work that clock. Thompson's played a lot of football. Snapped it there. With two seconds on the play clock. It's going to be third and seven here. I'm going to snap it just north of the two minute mark. I mean, a, this, a first down, and Adam, we're going back to Lincoln a, a winner. Adam, I'm, I'm just telling you, you know, I know you probably think I'm going to say pass the ball. No. I think Rutgers' defense, is, as we have a, a injury, we had a lot of injuries today. We have. And that's that's Jennings, a yeah, very Deion talented Jennings. linebacker. There they go empty. Wasting every single second. You, you can't go home with the timeout, so nice job. Now you've won four times. You're starting to knock on the door of bowl eligibility, and you get your bye week next week to think about it. They're under center. Maybe they're called. They're doing my play. Third and seven. Nope. Grant running right. Dances outside, and he's close to the marker, but a flag comes in. Oh, it's a hold. They're going to get a hold on. For Alante Brown. Holding. Offense number four. Ten yard penalty. Three third down. Yeah, he's furious. He doesn't think he held because he, he did try to let go. Let's take another look at it. Here he is right here. Just watch the action there. He does a good job. Well, oh, he's got his hands. Oh, that's a hold. I mean, I don't know what to tell you there. That's a hold. Um, and he should have been called for it. He lets go late. Right, but that's a hole to take down. Nice job by the defender fighting to try to go make the play because it forces the referee to not swallow his whistle and blow it and, 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 and throw the flag. 
But hey, you, you get another play here, right? They take the penalty third and 17. You get another play. Going to work a little more time There's off the clock. There's still a chance for him to run my play. There's still a chance, Adam. I, I like that a lot more third and seven than I do third and 17. <laughs> hey, I mean, I mean, whatever it is, it should be a run play. That's what it should be. Third and seven, you, you get the first down, you, you end the game. Third and 17, you're like, don't turn it over, stay in bounds. Mm -hmm. And they will keep it on the ground. This is Grant. And he hangs on to the football as he crosses the 40. Play clock is rolling. This will go down inside of a minute. Mm -hmm. And that's about how much time Rutgers will have when they get it back. Can Nebraska finish the game? That's what everybody's, you know, all Nebraska fans all around the country, they're sitting at home watching this, some in attendance, and they're saying, will this be the time that we get a chance to finish this one possession game? Well, keep this in mind. Rutgers did block a punt in the first half, so you have to execute in special teams. And head coach Mickey Joseph going to call another timeout right here. And he does so with 108 to play. Right, he, he's exhausted every second he can possibly exhaust without giving the ball back to Rutgers. Now they're going to kick this, hopefully get this ball kicked off away, and, and, and Rutgers is going to have a chance to drive down with no timeouts. Brady Weiss, the long snapper. Punt is away by Buscini. Rutgers gets the ball, 103 to play. They go with Simon at quarterback. Does Rutgers incomplete trying to find Johnny Langan? And people at home are maybe wondering why Simon, why Simon, because of the two interceptions he's thrown, but he is your best option as a passer. We talked about uh, Vedro and how he's fighting through that hand injury and it's kind of holding him back to, from driving the ball down the field. So your best option right now is Evan Simon. You just hope that he protects the ball and, and gets this ball down the field. Simon has time. That one is tipped and incomplete. Now, now there's a flag, but we'll go back and look at this. I believe this ball was tipped at the line of scrimmage. It appeared to be obvious pass interference, and, and maybe the ball was not tipped. Yeah, I think I think it might have been dropped by the defender attacking the ball and bumping pass the pass interference. Defense number eight. The ball be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Look at Mathis, 32. Okay, so that can't be pass interference. Yeah. That ball's tip. It's not pass interference because you can make contact. After review, the ball was tipped by Nebraska number 32. There is no foul for defensive pass interference. The pass was incomplete. It'll be third down at the 20-yard line. What a nice play by O'Shawn Mathis, knowing the situation, getting right in front of the quarterback and, and skying up, right? He got really high to try to get that ball tipped in. And the game of inches and centimeters even, just the tip of his finger makes that play legal. Nebraska bringing four here. Simon steps up, down the middle, intercepted. It's the freshman Malcolm Hartzog. They were picking on him early, but he closes out the night, and Nebraska's going to win it on the road over Rutgers. How about redemption? To start this game, they were actively, actively attacking number 13 in white, Malcolm. Uh, I, I said at Indiana, at home against Indiana, and tonight he's going to help close it out on the road. Was there a fumble on the snap? Wow. You know, the, these teams don't go under center really as, as much anymore as they you know, used to work almost exclusively out of the shotgun so many times. Let's just take a look and see what happens here. Well, the center kind of holds on to the ball there. Yeah, and, and the big push from, from the yeah. defensive line. The center didn't let it go. Yeah, it's no, no harm, no foul there, but I don't know. Maybe just get a shotgun, you know, do what you know and get a shotgun and maybe do that. You take take a step forward and take a knee there for, for Casey Thompson. <laughs> well, if, if you're a, a Nebraska fan, you won't believe it until the clock hits zero. Absolutely. But it has now. First back to back wins in the Big Ten since 2018. Congratulations. Nebraska wins it on the road.